You're only going to need to know one knot to tie this yoga mat carrier. Well, two if you want to upgrade the strap. But this paracord mat carrier couldn't be any simpler and more effective. It would be even great as a blanket roll carrier as well. So let's get right into it. First off, the knot you need to know is the double overhand knot. You're going to tie it by making two loops with the second loop going over the standing end. Then the running end passes through the two loops and you pull tight. Tie this knot on one end of your paracord. Then with that end, we're going to loop it around one side of that rolled up mat. And note, I've got the longer end, the running end on the bottom. From here, we're going to tie the same double overhand knot. This time it's going to be tied over the standing end just a few inches away from the first knot. Two loops over the standing and then back through the loops to the right. Pull this knot nice and tight so that it will stay in place. Now if this tail is too long, you can adjust the position of the double overhand knot and then work the slack out to the running end. Also notice we tighten this loop by pulling on the standing end. From here, we're going to move to the other side of the mat and place the running end going across. And we want our next loop to be right about here, three quarters of the way across the mat. Then with the running end, wrap it once around the mat and bring the running end back to the standing end. From here, we're going to tie another double overhand knot, line those two cords up and tie the knot over the standing end. Make these two loops like before and then pass the running end through and pull tight. And then to finish, we're going to tie one last double overhand knot with the running end, leaving about the same length of tail like the first side. From there, I'm going to snip off the excess cord and melt the end with my lighter to prevent fraying. When using this carrier, note that on one end, you tighten that side by pulling on the sort of standing end or the end that's part of the handle. And on the other side, you tighten that other loop by pulling on the running end or the end with a knot on it. So this is the simplest version of the carrier and it's fully functional at this point. But if you want to take it a step further, we're going to take another piece of paracord and from the midpoint of this cord, I'm going to place it behind the carrying cord and just a few inches away from the overhand knot and tie some cobra knots. The right strand passes over the core strand and under the left strand. The left strand goes behind the core strand and then through the crook on the right. Pull tight and close the first knot. Then take the now left strand, pass it over the core strand and under the right. Then the right strand passes behind through the crook on the left. And we're now back to the start. Repeat those steps as you tie your cobra knots going along the carrying cord. Once I get to the end, I'm going to snip off the excess strands, melt with my lighter and press down on the ends to lock them in place. So this cobra knot strap is definitely recommended if you plan on carrying the mat or blanket on your shoulder. With the added width to the carrying handle, it makes it much more comfortable. 